My ancestors settled the Western North Carolina mountains in 1790, and so I've always been interested in the history and the folklore of this region. I always wanted to be a writer, and by now I have written 22 novels, made the New York Times bestseller list four times, and won a number of awards, and people study my books all over the world. So I see myself as kind of an ambassador for this region. This has always been considered, and our region, I'm going to say, the whole Mountain South. It's been considered a very fertile ground for storytelling, but people have used it over the years, if you ask me, as a theme park. Anytime they want to, to do a gothic story or some sort of really sensationalized bit of for everything from John Fox Jr. to White Trash on Moonshine Mountain, they dump it here because people will believe it. Deliverance, for example. And I think one of the things I'd like to see done is that the people from the region need to take control of our own story. We need to tell it the way it really is, show the region as a beautiful place with hard-working, intelligent people to combat all the stereotypes that go back hundreds of years. And that's really my mission. I see myself as a cultural ambassador from this region to the rest of the world. And so when my stories, my books are translated into 11 different languages. Last year, the State Department asked for permission to translate the Ballad of Frankie Silver into Arabic. And so I'm getting the word out to really the rest of the world that we're not the way we've been portrayed in the movies and the cartoons over the years. One thing that the arts can do is to be a bridge between the community and the rest of the world so that we could do a ballet written by a Russian choreographer or study operas that Italian composers had written so that we really have a window to the rest of the world through the arts. And by studying the arts, we send our children out perhaps into the world with a greater understanding of what lies beyond.